Let me ask about Elon Musk uh, and this whole Twitter controversy, because, you know, I mean, you've seen how he came out, and let's, irrespective of whether he really wanted to buy it or not, the arguments he's making about how he says Twitter's broken, um, about the bot problems and the rest, I mean, how, how much is he identifying what the real issues are with Twitter in your view? So I, I feel very strongly about automated accounts across all of the social networks. Um, I have talked to people who um, run systems for detecting fake accounts um, across a number of the largest platforms on, on the internet. And, you know, there are, are major, oh, I won't say, I won't say their, their, their name brand, like you would recognize the name of them. They're major in the sense that, you know, they're probably in the top 10 um, social networks, top 15 social networks in the United States, where, where a substantial fraction of all the accounts are, um, are automated. Like we're talking upwards of 50%. Um, and so I don't know what Twitter's actual number is. I doubt Twitter's number is 50%, but, but I guarantee you it's more than 5%. And it's important for the public to understand that there is a huge, huge gap in financial reporting today that is actually a giant liability for the public good. This is something I plan on writing more about in the future which is we have accounting standards for, for dollars because we know that companies lie about the money they have and the liabilities they have. And that creates systemic risk that is, is very um, dangerous for investors and it's dangerous for just the public because it leads to cutting of corners. Um, in the case of, of, of tech, there's another kind of accounting that is as vital for people's share prices as dollars, which is people. Who these people are? How many people you exactly. have on the account? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. If you can have a 1% drop in the number of users on your site, and you can have a 10% drop in the valuation of your company, that's huge. Um, and so right now, every time you take a bot off your site, you actually decrease the valuation of your company. And so there's this really dangerous conflict of interest here where the number one thing threatening the information environment is automated accounts because they allow you to set the narrative. They let you set the drumbeat. Um, they let you amplify whatever information, true or false, because remember, true facts can be very divisive too. Um, uh, automated accounts are extremely dangerous. And right now there's a giant financial disincentive from taking them down. So we, I think, I think, I think the, the fact that Elon is raising that as an issue, yeah. it's like a top level issue is I think an important thing. Do the companies uh, have, let's leave aside the financial incentive for just a moment. Do the companies have an easy technological fix if they wanted to from removing bots from the platform? Because I've heard from a number of people, Eric Schmidt we had on this show, for example, who said that it's actually a really difficult AI problem to solve. So I think in the case of Google, it's, it's a slightly different one because um, so much, a large fraction of, of real Google traffic is um, people who come in and do a search once a week, once every couple of weeks. In the case of Facebook though, there are, uh, you know, I just came back from Brazil, which is facing giant threats to their electoral system the election through, coming up, through the, yeah. the election coming right. up. Um, uh, the the, the delegitimization of their election, let's be specific. That's the real yeah. issue. Um, yeah. By I, the sitting you know, president, that's right. Uh, that's the, 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 um, when we look at the, the, at the, the files from my disclosures, um, you know, it, it says, Brazil has over 100,000 accounts that add on average 100 friends a day. It's like a, a red flag for it being an automated account. And, and Facebook is particularly egregious in that they set incredibly high rate limits on these accounts. You know, you can, you can do 60 comments a minute and be considered a human being. Um, I mean, no humans does 60 that comments exists today. a minute. That exists today. Um, that existed when I was there. I don't know what the current limits are. Um, and there are documents in the disclosures that talk about the idea of you can either set limits to protect machines or you can set limits to protect people. And right now, at the time that document was written, the limits were all written to protect machines. Because remember, every time you take down an account or like you, you, you say, hey, real humans don't write more than five comments a minute. You know, you, there's a chance, one, it makes it look like you have less activity, but two, like less content gets distributed in your system because every time you put a comment on something, it bumps it back up to the top of people's feeds. So these are real problems today.